three, two, one. Hi everyone, it's me Sherry. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you are new and you want to see more videos from me, if you like what you see, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and you can also hit the little bell for notifications so you don't miss upcoming videos. So for today's video, I'm going to do an empties video and I know we all do these all the time and it's like, who cares about your trash? But it's a way for me to keep organized by saving this and then showing it to you guys and then trying to remember if I liked the product or didn't like the product so then that way I know if I should add it to my shopping list again. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. I'm going to grab stuff out of here in no particular order. So the first thing that I have are some baby wipes from Fluffs. Fluffs baby wipes, it's 66 count. These are scented. These come from the Dollarama, $1.50. I always repurchase these. This time I got the unscented kind, so, you know, I will repurchase those because I use them for swatches and stuff off my hands. The next product that I have here is some wax melts, and this is the Festival Spice. I don't know what brand this is from, though. I got them at Superstore anyway after the holidays last year. They smelled pretty good, but... I don't think I'd repurchase them because they don't they don't um, last very long. Okay, so let's see what else I have here. Okay, one hair care product and the rest are skin care products. So we'll go with the hair care product. This is Suave. This is Suave with coconut oil damage repair shampoo. I bought this at the Dollarama on a whim thinking, hmm, maybe I'll like that, maybe I won't. I freaking love it. I still use in the conditioner. I used up all the shampoo. But you know what? I can't find it anywhere at all on Cape Breton Island. Like it sucks because I definitely would repurchase it. It has a beautiful coconut smell to it. If anybody knows any shampoo and conditioner, if anybody's tried this before, you know a shampoo and conditioner that's close to this. I have the whole blends from Garnier that I'm going to try next. Um, but oh my god this was so good. I don't even know if this stuff is cruelty free or anything. I try, I'm try. i trying my best with cruelty free with makeup products but some things I have that I already had like all my MAC lipsticks that aren't cruelty free but I'm going to continue to use them but I'm trying to I'm going to try to incorporate it in like my hair care and my skin care too but we'll see how that goes. The next product that I have is from Clean and Clear and this is the Morning Burst Fruit Infusions. Um, this took me a while to use this up. This has pomegranate in it, um, but I won't repurchase this because this isn't a cruelty-free brand, but it was okay as far as cleansers go. I don't know what I have all over my hands. It looks like brown eyeshadow or something all over my, or brown eyeliner. I don't know. Anyway, the next product that I have in here are a couple of products from Tatcha. This is the Tatcha, the Deep Cleanse Clarifying Japanese lotus fruit extract for normal to oily skin this was a really nice cleanser um tatcha is really expensive so i don't know if i'll be repurchasing that this is the tatcha luminous dewy skin mask this was very hydrating on my skin is that stuff falling out of that um these are 12 dollars a piece though so i don't know i'd have to be in a really good mood to spoil myself i got these in boxycharm i still have another one so i do still have another one to spoil myself with but <laughs> Yeah, these are, I mean, $12 for a face mask. Is it really worth it? Because you can get some really nice hydrating ones for like $4. So, I don't know. The next product that I have, I won't be repurchasing because one, it's really expensive. And number two, it's not cruelty free. But this is Dr. Brandt. Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. Helps refine and the appearance of pores. Deep cleans pores. Helps smooth the appearance of skin texture. Yeah, I could say that it probably does do all that. It has those little exfoliating beads in it, and it does a pretty good job of that. It smells um, like minty. It's really nice. I got this in BoxyCharm as well because I would not pay, like, I think this is like $80 or $90 in Canada, and there's no way I'm paying that much. Girl can't afford that much for skincare, even though skincare is the thing that you should splurge on, I guess, out of anything. Um, the next thing that I have, well, the last thing that I have is a Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, or Bum Bum Cream, but I think it's supposed to be pronounced Boom Boom Cream. Oh my God, you guys, if you guys haven't smelled this, go to Sephora and smell it. It's like the most divine scent ever. 
I got this from BoxyCharm and then I got another little one like this for referring a friend to BoxyCharm and I fell in love with it and I was using it like sparingly because they're tiny little containers. Then my dad and my stepmom got me a set for Christmas so <laughs> it came with one of these little ones and it came with a bigger one and it came with the spray and a lip balm so I finished up one because I don't have to use it as sparingly anymore and you bet your bottom dollar that when all of it's gone I probably will repurchase the full size because even though it's like $57, that stuff's expensive. <sighs> the smell is just intoxicating. It's $57 in Canada for the full size for like uh, 240 milliliters. How much is this? I don't even know. Um, does it even say anywhere? Yes, it does. This is only 25 milliliters, so 240 is quite a quite a big difference from this one. So, anyway, guys, those are my empties. I wanted to do it before it got way too big because I like doing quick, fast, and easy empty videos instead of going on for hours. Hopefully, some more makeup products will be in them soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What have you finished up lately? And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye, everyone.